International Rugby League sucks. Now, look, I know this video might get a lot of hate, and if you're just going to call me a one-eyed, boring Aussie, I totally get it. And you're right. I'm an Australian. I go for Australia in International Rugby League, and I get behind my country in literally everything, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's the Wallabies, whether it's the Tillies. I am an Aussie boy who gets behind his nation. And yet, my favorite sport in the world is obviously because of this YouTube channel, is Rugby League. And yet, you could put me in a lie detector test and I would just openly admit that International Rugby League to me absolutely sucks. Last week, I came out and talked about how Samoa had no chance. And honestly, I didn't get as much hate as I thought I would. And then I watched the game pretty much taking notes, ready to review it. And honestly... I walked out of the pub with 20 minutes to go. After the far logo, no try, which I still can't pronounce that geezer's name, but he was probably the only good thing to come out of that match. And without sounding negative, but you've read the title and you've heard me already. That game sucked because International Rugby League, and only when it's on, it is marketed towards as the number one pinnacle in the sport, as it always is. In every single sport, the international game is the peak, and obviously people are playing for their countries. But rugby league is in the unique situation where our biggest sporting competition is in the international game. It's a trial for the Australian team. The Australian team go and play Samoa and New Zealand. Now, the New Zealand side is stacked, and I'm very interested to see how they go against Samoa, and I will make a video when New Zealand play Australia because I am actually excited for that. But let's face it, and without saying disrespectful at all, the West Tigers are probably better than Samoa player for player. And again, what it does, and seeing the Samoans get around that team like they did at the World Cup, the fan days, it is so incredible, and it's what should be International Rugby League should be. The way Tonga packed out that stadium when they played New Zealand just before COVID was absolutely insane. The Kiwis get behind it as well. But I can't help and sit there and, you know, I'm a rugby league guy. But when I watch the Rugby Union World Cup and see how popular it is and see how everyone's behind it, seeing how incredible it is that all these Northern Hemisphere teams are dominating, even though they absolutely bottled it in the quarterfinals. It's the one time where I genuinely just sit there and go, how good would it be if Australia, we only had one? Because at the moment, the rest of the world thinks that Australia sucks. And I'm sick of rapping Rugby Union, even though I don't hate as much as normal leagues do. But I get jealous because International Rugby League sucks. There's 15 minutes to go. And you know what? Honestly, I'm just over it. The NRL is the competition they win. They go, they train since November, they come out and they try to win it. International Rugby League is treated in the same way as the preseason challenge. If that sounds disrespectful... Then that's because that's how the NRL treat it. It's a tack on for broadcasters at the end of the year. The only international fixtures I'm excited for outside of Australia and New Zealand is Tonga v England because they planned it even before last year's World Cup and the English, the Super League, are treating it as a big occasion. In Australia, it's a tacked on exhibition match for the end of the year because we need to give these players a bit more money and we need to show that we actually care about the international game. But there's no international body for rugby league. Like I just said, it's a tack on thing for the end of the year so players, broadcasters all get more money. There should be an independent body. The way they get behind it is absolutely incredible. But, and this is not, I'm trying not here to be disrespectful. But the Australian Kangaroos versus Samoa game pulled a less crowd than most of the Cowboys games did this year. And it's it's true. They're playing a state of origin All-Stars team. Granted, there's a few injuries and suspense. Fortunately, that's just the way International Rugby League is at the moment. And while everyone wants to sit here and talk about Rugby League's an international game, the AFL isn't, we are. We sort of are. I think the best comparison is... The AFL is the NFL to America, where they just play it in that one country, and yeah, Canada dabble in it, so New Zealand dabble in it, and I think Ireland even dabble in it a little bit, but that's ours. That's Australia's, and there's no way that's going to ever kick off the international game. NBA, so basketball, America them 
is sort of like Australia for us, obviously, when they pick their strongest team for the Olympics. Where, sure, there's a few players that go to these specific island nations and they can make it competitive. Look at what Samoa did. What Samoa did last year was absolutely incredible. And Samoans definitely deserve to enjoy that because that was bloody sick. But when Australia have their best team, like when America had their dream team in basketball, it was one-way traffic and no one came close. Sure, they finished with a bronze in 2004 and Australia lost in 2008. But for the most part, the Rugby League World Cup and Rugby League competitions outside of England when it first started has always been Australia. And outside for that one year for New Zealand, it's been all Australia. And that's an as an Aussie. So... I don't have the passion for it. It would be cool if Samoa won this game. It would be cool if England won this game. Imagine if Tonga beat Australia. I'm sort of glad it happened because that's a public holiday in that nation now. They care about it so much and we could even pack out Townsville for it. Like, And most of that crowd, even though the game was played in Australia in one of the heartlands of rugby league, it was mostly a Samoan crowd. So international rugby league sucks. I think the only way to fix it is we've got to get an independent body. Whether it's an extension of the ARL, England Rugby League, New Zealand Rugby League, come together. Give us a calendar. Stop tacking on random tests at the end of the years and having a World Cup when you feel like it every four or five years. I mean, they're not even every four years. They're every four, five, maybe even three years. And there's two countries that host it. It's either England, it's either Australia. So we've got to make more of an effort for international rugby league because the demand's there. Like Tokyo in 2019, Japan put a ton of money into that rugby union World Cup. France is just hosting it. And France is putting on an absolute show. And the Rugby Union World Cup is absolutely insane. There's a market for rugby players. Look at France. They even have Catalans. I know they just lost the Super League Grand Final, but there's obviously playing rugby league in France. Ireland could have a stacked rugby league team. So there's definitely a market there. We just got to stop treating it as an end-of-year preseason challenge because, unfortunately, that's the way it is at the moment. And with more Polynesian players coming in, there's obviously Tonga, Samoa. They're going to improve. And that'll be sick when they are able to compete with Australia. But unfortunately, I still think that's probably not going to be for another 10 to 15 years. But the potential is there to go to Europe. And if the Super League can expand, I mean, Toronto Wolfpack had a team at one point. If they can expand, then International Rugby League could be sick. I don't think it'll be ever on the same level as Rugby Union, at least not for a couple decades. But And I'm not saying it has to be, but it sucks at the moment. It's a chore to watch, and watching Rugby League shouldn't be a chore. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority. That's why you guys have a comment section. So let me know your thoughts on the current set of International Rugby League in that comment section down below. Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Right now,